And we are live. All right. So this is Strixhaven. Opening this, we got two boxes here. Both of them are the set boosters. Uh, the first one I am opening for the Battle Box League. So everything I open in this first one goes towards that. Also, I have the collector boosters and I did buy a fat pack too. That's why I actually got two of the set boosters because there was a good deal with those. So, all right. So first things first, let's get, let's move some of this other junk out of the way. It's not really junk, but you know, let's get this one going here. I maybe should have done that ahead of time, but <laughs> all right. Fold that bad boy. Now I don't have Lowry to cheers, so we'll just do it. Uh, camera cheers. All right, starting it off. This is all for Battle Box League stuff here. So let's go through these quick. All right, I'm really just going to hit up the main stuff, the notables. All right, so there's that. I love the art card stuff. All right, let's get through this. Uncommons. Try to keep it so you can actually see it. Oh, everything's backwards. That's sweet. <laughs> That's fun. I can Now I'm just noticing that, that everything's backwards here. I think it's coming through backwards. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> what's up, Meat Force? I actually didn't think people would jump on. I was just more uh, testing this out. So we got Auric Lore Mage is my uh, rare for this. So that's not too bad. Uh, might not work for this as well, though. All right. it was, oh, look what I get first off. Okay, so it is fine for you guys. It's flipped. Okay, on my screen right here, everything's backwards. So that's why I thought for sure it was that way for you guys. I'm super happy I got that. That is awesome. Guess what I'm playing with? And then Monetide for the Mystical Archive. Not bad. I like the first pack because uh, especially getting Wandering Archaic. How many of you guys got? Yeah. Uh, I'll get the buttons. Oh, good for now, you. Could you guys, could you hear the buttons there? I'm hoping you can. I'll turn it up even. Oh, good for you. That deserves an oh, good for you. All right, let's get these organized a little bit. That there, that there, that there. Oils will put off to the side. Could you guys hear the oh good for you? I'm just really curious if that came through. Put that over there. Art. This is weird doing it this way because I'm used to just doing a video and talking. Okay, so, oh, that's the lessons. That's why they show up there sometimes. So I did get a lesson as right in the front there through those and get to the uncommons those don't really matter too much i do like this guy a lot we almost got him in the top 10 uh when we were talking this week but decided there was other stuff that we didn't need in there all right so this is going to be interesting because what is this for each opponent gain control up to one target creature opens three or less Ugh, i don't think that's gonna be very good for this Putrefy. All right. We got some removal there. And then a common foil. Oh, Jeremy, look at you. You're on here too, buddy. <laughs> what the hell is going on? There's five people. I really thought there was going to maybe be one, maybe two. Two. Ooh, foil. All right. Commons, uncommons right away, huh? Well, this one's going to be a stacked uncommon one. Holy crap. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess that's the set booster way of doing it. All right. So the Strix, what does that one do again? Sacrifice it. When it dies, you learn. Meh. Growth spiral. Eh, I guess that's okay. And foil. Oh, on the Stony Brook. Okay, so that's my list card right there. Um, yeah, that one's pretty garbage too. So nothing too exciting there. Oh, 
I don't know what else I'm hoping for, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> I guess I want Liliana because uh, we all want Liliana, but I really wanted the Wandering Archaic and... Oh, that's the art card. Got him right away. So I guess I'm done. I don't need to open any more packs. And there we go. Another lesson on the front. And I do like these tap lands. So Jeremy, if you want to use tap lands, you're okay to use these, buddy. And know we gave you shit for doing the tap lands. You can wear that. Oh, yeah. All right. Uncommons. Let's see. Silver Quill. This is garbage for what we're doing here. Infuriate, meh, and meh. So another kind of meh pack there. Yeah, you go play those walls there, Jeremy. <laughs> we might be putting together a in real life magic night here. I haven't seen Jeremy in forever. I think this is the last time we did in real life magic. Uh, all right, so uncommon right away. Oh, no, it's just that one. Still my end. So it must be the lesson. Yeah, it's the lessons that are in front like that. All right, flunk. Okay. I like this one here. Uh, the Magecraft. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, I should probably make it. I'm not focusing on what I'm showing you guys. One plus one. Eh. This one's Okay, what was the back side of that again? Put a study counter on it, then you may put... Uh, this one was not that great. Land card, put it in your hand, otherwise study counter. And Revitalize Man. Okay, some of these... Oh, look at that. It's one of the game cards. I've actually been saving those. I have a little spot for game cards. All right, so the first pack was probably going to be my highlight of this whole thing <laughs> uh all right that there boom uncommon throw that there and we get to these you and target opponent each draw three cards all right here's my rare gnarled professor when it enters learn Ugh. infuriate again come on and then there's another list card uh, is that even going to level up, draw a card, then discard a card? How many levels up? Three? I guess that won't be too bad in this. I could see using that a little bit in this commander for this format, especially. All right. Rare lesson on there. Take it. I didn't even read it because I don't like the lessons as much. What does that one do? Discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards. Then if there are seven or more cards in your graveyard, create a 3-2 white spirit, red and white spirit. I guess that'll get rid of crappy cards. So I guess it's okay. But the lessons haven't been too impressive. I actually do like the common one where it's the... <laughs> we discussed it beforehand. This one we did like too, um, but didn't make the list was the uh, searching for a land, the colorless one. Garbage. Harmonize. Okay. I can use that. Foil. And then another game card. I'll put that over there. Oh, harmonize could be used. But so far, did I even get a legendary creature yet? I don't think I did. Oh, I guess I got her. Is that going to be my commander? Green, blue. I mean, it's my favorite combo, but. Eesh. Eesh. All right. Uncommons. Yep, that's where I'm throwing those. All right, the boots. That gives up flying. Whenever it deals damage to a player, draw a card and then discard. That's that's decent. Uh, sacrifice a creature. Okay. Uh, may pay three. If you pay three, you draw three cards and an opponent creates two treasures and they scry two. Otherwise, you draw the X. Oh, uh, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, all right. We got Jadizzy. And the back side of that was the garbage. I liked the front side of this, but man, for <laughs> League and Eight, I don't think I'm going to be playing that one. And then Defiant Strike. Another rules card or game card. Okay. So now I have two 
potential commanders. Both of them are green and blue. Sweet. Yep, it looks like I'm going to be a Simic for sure, Ryan. All right. So this is the hard part. I'm like doing this, and then I'm also like, oh, I got to pay attention to the chat too because people are there. I'm not used to having people here. And then uh, also, guys, Larry, I think, is going to attempt this tonight as well. So, and I got this set up so it's right through my computer so I don't have any little errors. All right. So I got a rare, the rare land. Ooh, Mind's Desire Mythic. Shuffle your library, then exile the top card of your library until end of turn. You may play that land, may play that card without paying its mana cost, but the storm. That could be fun. If I'm going Simic, this could be uh this could be actually pretty fun to play. So that actually might work out. Nothing there. The foils aren't doing much there. All right. and another foil land i'll put that down there i actually like this one too that one's pretty good for a common for the lesson probably one of my it's probably the second favorite of those of like the common uncommon stuff it's going to be used all right so then we get i didn't like this one at all i mean it's four for a 11 10 but when it attacks or blocks you sacrifice a creature <laughs> opt all right i like the opt work it with, <laughs> everything simic everything simic uh from, from your hand return target per graveyard to your hand okay yeah i could see that being used as kind of like a semi removal in this and bringing back recursion god damn i think i'm gonna play simic at this point force it probably do the the big guy the hate drop um uh, that isn't the lesson that i like land searching one i'm hoping to get a couple of those actually i want those in foil i think john was mentioning trying to get those in foil and i kind of agree with that um this one's okay it's better than the uh the other one we had before before this the uncommon where it's tap one to give you a color at least this is giving you one one counters on a creature so it's decent thrill of possibility uh addition to this discard a card draw two cards Ooh, foil the ecological apparition so this is one that was on the top 10 as well uh this is the searcher library this could and simic again what is going on i think i have to go that route i really do <laughs> i'm not building a red deck jeremy there's there's nothing here for red <laughs> I'm sick of red. I'm glad that it is going to be green in here. Fucking red. All right. Nothing. All right. Uncommons. It's the goddamn book. God, this book is awful. Just awful. I can play all five with that. Uh, Stone Rain. Sweet. Ooh, and a foil duress. You see that, guys? Foil. That's pretty sweet. I like it. I got... And oh, good for me. Oh, good um, for you. I got a foil Swords of Plowshares in my uh, pre-release kits. So I got the one drops down for the foil ones. I don't even know what the duress is at right now. The foil Swords of Plowshares was sitting at, I think, 15 or 16 bucks. All right, here we go. There is the one that I like. I like the environmental sciences. Search your library for a basic land card, reveal, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. It's only two. Two? Two for that. You gain two life. I like that one a lot. All right. Get through these. Uncommons. I actually don't remember which uncommons are the good ones here, so kind of skipping through those. Sedge Witch or Sedge More Witch. This also is in our top 10. This is pretty sweet. Uh, the cauldron. What is this one? Discard a card, create a one, one black pest, or you can tap one. Each opponent mills a card. The amount of life you gain this turn or exile target or four target cards from a single graveyard, draw a card. Backside is return up to two target creature land and or planeswalker cards from your graveyard to your hand for each player or each player gains four life. That's not that good. All right. 
agonizing remorse and just a foil common. That's fine. That's fine. I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so I'm probably about the halfway point here. I'm trying to go semi fast because I have another one of these to open and the collector boosters. Uh, it looks like I'm playing uh, Simic. <laughs> That's what you missed, Rick. I'm not playing red. There's uh, the only two legendaries I got were Simic. It's uh, ooh, it's one of the uh, commands. I like those. We only liked one that was going to maybe make the list, and I think we decided to go against that. All right, God's willing. That's meh, and then oil uncommon. So right now, yeah, the only what was I think there's one other legendary that I could even oh it's the five Cody Cody the book was the only other legendary that wasn't Simic that there um this is all right I I like this as an uncommon given your stuff unblockable. Uh, best colors. What's the best color? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they are the best colors. You are correct. I like this card too, but it's red, so I'm not playing it. <laughs> but this one's interesting because it's uh, the exile top X of your library for each land exile, create a treasure token for each blue card, exile, draw a card for each red card, it deals one damage to each opponent. So you could really end game stuff that could be really interesting. Uh, agonizing remorse again. Uh, emergent sequence. So search your library for a basic land. Put a bail field tapped. It comes to zero zero. Put a one one. Okay, that one's decent. That's going good for Simic. I can dig it. Yes, I'm pretty much focused at this point doing Simic. <laughs> I don't even care what I open now. It's just all going to be green blue. See more green blue. Let's do it. All right, they're uncommons. I don't like this one as much. I know I already opened it. Oh, my phone's ringing. That's awesome. That was uh, number two. <laughs> calling right in the middle of this. I think he's calling because uh, I'm selling his house. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'll have to call him back here in a little bit after I get done with this. All right, so selfless glyph weaver. All right, what is that one? Gain indestructible until end of turn. Uh, choose a creature, planeswalker, then destroy all the others. I'm not going to be using it, but that's that's pretty decent, I guess. Uh, and then we got I don't even know how to say that one. Ephemerate, if if ameriate. Yeah, that's me reading. Exile target creature you control, then return it back to under. Okay, rebound. Okay, so it's kind of like the blink effect. You can get your ETBs going. All right. The oh, eh, fem, right. All right. There we go. <laughs> I need you there whenever I'm doing the cast. So I have somebody. Larry just goes along with whatever I'm saying. He's like, yeah, that sounds right. And it's not. <laughs> He's just making me feel, but feel good. Uh, uncommon. And let's get to those other uncommons. I don't know why I'm getting to them because I'm just kind of skipping them right away. All right. Let's see. So this one enters the battlefield. Choose one. Create a 1-1 one, one pest or draw a card and lose a life or exile target player's graveyard. Uh, that could be interesting in Commander. You got choices. I always like the choices with stuff with that. Memory lapse. All right. Countering. I guess that's going to be part of my removal with this. That works. Uh, and then foil common. Not very good. That's funny. I thought I put my phone on. It'd be funny if number two knew that I was doing this and was calling just to mess with it because that's what my camera is through, is through my phone. Did it kick out for you guys? Like it went black because it went black here when my phone was ringing. Just curious if it, my phone rings, if it's going to do that. All right, uncommons and the fucking book again. Damn it. 
blacked out. Okay. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. So I put it on silent. So hopefully it doesn't do that if somebody calls. I'm curious if that happens. All right. So village rights, cast a spell, sacrifice creature. We're going to sell that one and come in there. My other question is when it blacked out, could you hear my phone ringing? Because it was the Game of Thrones. That's my ringtone. So I was curious if that came through. It might have come through on my microphone because the phone's close enough that it might have picked that up. Ooh, another foil. All right. Do, do, do. Yeah, it did. Okay. <laughs> so you got a little Game of Thrones action with it. That's kind of funny. All right. So we got red. I don't like the uh, you may pay. I didn't like any of these. Uh, it says if you you can pay two to red rather than pay the spells cost. So it's five. So it's one less. If you do an opponent discards any number of cards and draws them. So I guess that could be good for political wise later in the game. You could say, you know, we're trying to get so and so down. I'll have you draw and discard or discard and draw more cards. Uh, and then it says, search a library for up to three cards, put two of them in your hand, then shuffle and discard three cards. Ugh, it's like an ultimate gamble. Revitalize again. Ooh, and a foil revitalize. Back to back. That's <laughs> would have been nice if it wasn't revitalized. And then we got a list card. So the gatekeeper of Malakir. Malakir. I like this card, but not... Back in the day, I liked that card with my vampire deck. Yeah, the audio was working fine. That's good. So you can hear me if it goes black. I can just say what's going on. All right. Something shiny back there. I got two of them again. I saw it accidentally. I got two of those mystical archives. Come on, be big, be big. All right. So I have more choices. It's the, uh, I like this one though. So it's, if a non-token creature an opponent controls would die, exile it instead. When you do, you may pay two. If you do, you get a 1-1 one, one pest. Backside, whoops. It was a regrowth that's foil there. Uh, and this one is whenever you gain life, you may pay one. If you do, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature control. And those creatures gain trample until the turn. I don't think this part would be fun to play. That, that, that has some potential. Maybe green-black. That could work uh corrosion grip all right so we got some removal there and regrowth brings some recursion and that's a foil one as well it's pretty nice man these look really good i'm hoping because each pack has those in them that the prices of all those are going to go way way down and i want to pick up all of these just look fantastic i love it so my plan is to get those eventually here try probably to get all of them maybe we'll see we'll see what the prices get to i the japanese ones that i'm excited for the collector booster box i'll hit that one next and then if i have time i'll come back to the other box of this all right the ifrit uh is double strike deals combat damage to a player cast target instant sorcery from your graveyard without paying its mana cost and then you exile it not bad and then i got this and this one's kind of garbage i don't even want to read it all but it is pretty garbage Sorry, I pulled it off camera. I was trying to actually read it. Uh, and then shock mixed in there and a foil spell satchel. Oh, got another list card here. Gain one life and draw a card. That could fit if I do go the right route with uh, Golgari with green and black. That's not a bad idea. Because the other one's already dealing with creatures, but the other ones are other people's creatures. It does have the gain life in there as well. So that it could be an option. All right. Well, there's our uncommons. Run through those. More green, of course. Adding mana. Dig it. X is the amount of life you gain. So it fits with the Golgari one if I go that route. Cultivate. Sweet. And foil. Doesn't matter. All right. One row is done. I like the cultivate. What's interesting is I'm starting to get, now this is a no good for you moment, but I have like, you know, the secret layer stuff and all that. And now we keep getting these special ones. And I try to just only have one copy of everything, but now getting all the different art and all the special edition kind of stuff 
now it's starting to accumulate to more than just one copy. So I'm kind of breaking my own rule because I want to have one of each. Oh, it's Quintorius. All right. So there's another legendary. I could go Boros, but I won't. Oh, Lowry's favorite. <laughs> this is only on the list because Lowry fought hard for that one. Oh, that should be over here. And I'll keep him there so I can remember to come back to that. Okay. So this is. Creature tokens you control get one plus one whenever one or more non-token creatures dies. Create a two-one white or the inkling. Uh, what's oh I know it's commander. I was gonna say if it was sixty card you could squeeze that in with the black and green, but you can't with this dark ritual. Sweet, wish it was foil. All right, that's a token. That there. That there. Yeah, I want a dark ritual and foil. Yeah, I'll go next will be the collector boosters just to get a little mix up of see what the Japanese stuff is through there. So I got only one missing so far is a white foil land there. Get rid of those. All right, so it's a, the you may pay rather than. Let's see. So if you pay the two and two white, uh, an opponent chooses up to two non-land permanents they control and return and returns the rest to owner's hand, destroy all non-land permanents. Okay, so you can kind of save somebody else's. Uh, negate. Oh, did I get negate? I don't remember, but it's counterspell. I got something with countering. I know that with that. Ooh, Scytherix. Ooh. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> I want to kill Lowry so bad with poison. <laughs> Oh, I had a Scytherix deck. It just won't work with this necessarily. But it could be my commander. Oh, man. Scytherix. That's pretty sweet. There's that environmental sciences. I'm happy about that. That's my list card. Sweet. Oh, full art. Oh, let's see what we got. Oh, it's the Elder Dragon. Sweet. So beginning of your upkeep, create a 1-1 one -one pest. And then you can pay 10 life, untap all lands you control, activate this ability. Oh, man. Is Golgari going to be a potential? I mean, that's two now. Two? Good Golgari stuff. Urza's Rage. Can't be countered. Three damage to target. If this spell is kicked, it deals 10 damage to that permanent or player. That's all right. And Foil Kelpie Guide. And another list card. Uh, lack, what is it? Latchkey Fairy? What is that one? It's when it comes into play, so it has Prowl. If it's Prowl cost was paid, you get the draw. Meh. All right. Get through these. Let's see here. Uncommon. All right. So we got another command. It's in Boral, so I'm not going to be using that. Commands are fun. I like, especially when they're instants. Oh, yeah, that's my rare. Okay. Snakeskin Veil. 1-1 one, one counter on target creature control. Gains hexproof. So that can that is some protection there. I like it. Uh, campus Guide and then a foil to or a token there. Three pack, oh, Four packs left for League stuff. And then we'll move on to collector boosters. That pack was like exceptionally hard to open for some reason. All right, uncommons. Attacking creatures you control have double strike. Be good if I was playing Boros. Okay, so we got two of these here. Two rares. Why did that work out? Okay, so the other command. This one is the one that almost made it, Prismari, because it has the damage, it has the draw, tokens, or destroying something. So you can, I like this one a lot. Uh, and then shock again. And nothing really there. The last three packs. Got one of the uh, etched ones. 
feels it looks like you could be able to really feel that but you can't i mean you can kind of your nail hits it a little bit but it doesn't really stick out or indent in as much as you would think all right so let's see those uh strict proctor whenever a permanent enter the battlefield trigger ability counter it unless they pay two. Ooh, crux of fate so this is the second one i've gotten Oh, good for you. Um, with the stolen art, which is pretty sweet. So I'm willing to trade this if people want a Crux of Fate. Uh, and then a foil, Humiliate. And hey, I like this guy. This, um, I think it was Jumbo Magic mentioned this card years ago. And I picked up foils of those. And then they kind of went crazy because it's such an old card. But it's, it's a interesting way of destroying other creature or other artifacts because you can discard a card from your hand destroy all artifacts with convert a monocost x for less so you can really wipe the board with him i like it a lot and it's just not used because people don't know about it it's so old um uh, right i think that's mercadian mass or whatever i think is what the set is i'm just trying to go off of memory with that all right so uncommon one there back to him that was our first Divine Gambit. Ooh, the foil Dragon's Guard Elite. So this is the one that can get really big. So whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, put a one counter on it. You can tap six and double the number of counters on it. Ah, well, I'm playing green. It's either green, black, or green, blue. So that dude is making it in there. And then we get to the last pack for Battle Box League. All right. Let's see if I can get my drum roll button up. No, I just came across. It. I don't want relationship. I just want bang, 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 bang. I don't want to know your name. I just want bang, bang, bang. That was right next to the drum roll. All right. Uncommon. So let's see what we got here. Oh. <laughs> I think I have to. I have to go green blue. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. This could be really fun in this. All right. Duress. No, not demonic tutor. Dang it. But duress. Nonetheless, I think wasn't that the foil one you got there? All right. So that is league stuff there. Let me gather this up, move it out of the way quick. Just throw it in the box. And I'm going to get the collector booster going. It's already been 30 minutes of opening that. So Simic, I'm guessing, is what I have to do. All right. All those in there. Move that to the side so I remember. And let's get the bad boy out there. All right. I don't even know what the slots are supposed to be in this. I know there's like a 50-50 chance of the mystical archive being a japanese i believe so we'll see here let's get these out i should probably lead up to this i could have done the other box first but it's already been a half an hour so and i think my wife already uh, she's gonna be leaving in a little bit to go get my son from uh school so i think i'm out of that one all right let's see start in this side Lots of foils. Uh, these are the commons, uncommons. Here comes our rares, the gnarled professor. Full art, which is actually kind of the order I would do it. I put full art above foils at this point. You draw X cards and lose X life, where X is the mono value of your commander. I like this card. We are. We debated this one before uh, the top 10 stuff because you could use that for like three and five commander because then you're really drawing a lot off of that. Uh, another full art that's that one. Oh, here we go. Japanese. Uh, I don't know what one that is. <laughs> I maybe should have that up. I should get my mouse here. What is that Japanese? Does anybody know what that one is offhand with that? I'll let you guys let me know i guess because <laughs> otherwise i'm going to be like leaning over and trying to figure out 
instead of going to the next card. But uh, let's see, for one, what is that? Would that be shock? That's what it almost looks like with the little stuff there. I would think it would be shock. Going with it. That's shock. And then putrefy. And then foil strategic planning. Whew, okay. So we're going to go like that. Go like that. Foil. Oh, another Japanese foil. Let's see. Is this Boros charm? Am I guessing right? I don't remember what's all in these. Crap. Okay. I got to pull this up. I got to make sure that I get this all right. Um, let's see. Main set. We need. We don't need the main set. Borderless foils. Crap. I should have had that pulled up. I wasn't even thinking ahead about the uh, mystical archives. All right. We are going to go to. Is it even giving me a Japanese? There we go. Japanese. Okay. So it definitely wasn't. This one isn't lightning bolt. I think it's shock. You guys are probably just like, huh? Oh, yep, I want shock. Uh, so then the Boros one, this first one was shock. Oh, lightning helix. Okay, thank you. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. The foil there and then a foil flip token with the emblem on the other side. Sweet. All right, so that's the order I would have those in. That looks pretty sweet. All right, next pack. Common, 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 common. Uncommon, uncommon. Oh, it's a lesson, so I'll throw that over with the commons. All right, so first, oh, alarm's going off to pick up sun. Hopefully my wife is doing that. All right, and we got to flip one of that. The cauldron, love, love this card. Promise of loyalty. That is such a good wrath. And then the blade historian, the double strike guys. All right, cultivate. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, this is an etched one. Let's see if I can get it. The light. You know what? I'll bring this down. So let's see. Oh, it's not doing it justice. Can I go around? Oh, there. You can kind of see it. So it's not like fully etched like the Commander Legends were. It's really just bits and pieces of it that are etched. That looks pretty sweet. So it's just the gold stuff here are the only things that are etched. That looks awesome. There's so many different variations. So you have full art, full art foil, full art etched. Oop, more Japanese. All right. What do we got there? Is that Swords of Plowshare? Because we've got one drop. Nope, it is a fear mate. No, that's the one that I couldn't say before. <laughs> Wait, let me go back to what you're eh, fim or eight. <laughs> uh, and then is, the, uh, is that bolt? No, that's not bolt. That one is, nope, it's not faithless looting. We are looking at shoot. What is that one? Um, Because it's not the same as the other. Okay, no, it isn't. Just making sure it's not shock. Okay, here's some other ones. Oh, that one's the infuriate. Okay. And a counterspell foil. Sweet. It's not a Japanese, right? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> it must be just a little delayed because I'm looking over trying to check both if you're saying, if anybody's saying it there or if. I need to look it up, but counterspell foil. That's that's pretty dope right there. All right, the pest. Let's move those up here. All right, I can dig it. I can dig the counterspell. <laughs> yeah, it takes probably about 30, 40 seconds before your comment pops up. So that's I was I was checking and seeing if you're getting it quicker than I can look at it, looking it up at each card here. All right, mentors, guidance. That unblockable tunnel, dig it. All right, the blade historian again. Full art. Oops. No, we're good. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Commander's Insight. The Hall of the Oracles. Infuriate. So we got that one again, but this one is the non. Oh, 
but it is the foil etched. God dang, there's so many different versions of stuff. So foil etched there. Ooh, and this one. Hold up. Yep. The Japanese ones, the text box has a foil etching on it, even if they're not foil. That doesn't. That's just a straight up foil. These around the text box have foil around or the etched foil. All right. So let's see if we can figure this one out before it gets on the uh, the chat. It's like a game. It's not duress. Uh, Inquisition. Sweet. Inquisition of Kozilek. All right. Dig it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then it shows up three seconds after I said it. All right. So then what do we got for this one? The full art. It's not demonic tutor. Cause I remember what that one looked like. Um, it's funny as I didn't look at a lot of these beforehand. I just knew that I liked them. It's not doom blade. It's like a get, Oh, it's the, uh, agonizing remorse. Did I beat you? Yep. I beat you. <laughs> uh, just barely <laughs> you got me just it came out seriously like two seconds after i say it uh basic conjuration all right so this is the look at the top six cards this one's pretty decent reveal creature cards from among them um put them into your hand put the rest in the bottom of your library in random order gain three life that's decent uh it's a full art let's get the creature tokens off the board do that this is just taking long by itself because i don't know what the japanese cards so I don't, is it a 50, 50, three, six, three, four, five. I guess it's close to 50, 50 at this point. You can say, I don't think it's 50, 50. It seems like more Japanese cards than not. All right. Prismari foil healing technique, full art that gal commander and full art. And then what do we got? Non foil. One green would normally be a fog, right? <laughs> it's not a fog. I know that's not. What is the green in this? It's not abundant harvest. I'm trying to beat you. One green, one green. Oh, it's the adventurous impulse. Did I win? I did. Yes. <laughs> adventurous impulse. And then we got a foil, the etched counter spell plugging it in there a full art foil <laughs> find it your damn self. <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> and then infuriate the full art foil Ooh, one of our top 10 blot out the sky in a full art foil like it glad i got that all right that went a little faster i was able to find it quicker this, oh, I like the avatar with that one. Oops. No, it's not the avatar. I thought I was thinking, what is this? Which way are we going here? Oh, we got a flip card and the token there. Okay. Well, I know what my last card is. This was on the back. <laughs> not mad. You're a parent. You could be not mad, but disappointed. It's totally fine. All right. Stop. Thanks for stopping in, Dan. Appreciate that you guys are watching this. I really didn't think anybody would be on here. It just was more for me to figure out how I... It's so different talking like this when there's people over here. I'm just used to just talking because recording the proxy time videos and stuff like that. All right. This guy, not a big fan. I keep getting him because I'm not a fan of him. All right. I got this in foil, but I'd much rather have the full art non-foil. Well, I'd rather have the foil, obviously, but the full art of this is pretty sweet. Uh, okay. Eliminate. I'm glad it's entertaining though, Rick. <laughs> Just don't know how to act where it's like this. Like we did this once before when we first started the discord and Larry and I were going through, I think the previews of cards and it was just like, we needed some, we needed a handler. So we actually kind of had number two jumping in cause he was going over what questions were going on. Cause Larry and I were focused on the cards. So, all right. Eliminate with the, the foil. So wait, they all have it. Okay, so I was each one of these, even the non foils are the foil etched. So that's interesting. Okay. 
And then, let's see, one red and two colorless. Wheel of Fortune. Just kidding. Uh, not Stone Rain. One. Oh, Chaos Warp. Ooh. I like how that looks. That looks pretty fantastic. And we got a one white. Didn't we already get this guy? Maybe not. Maybe that's my Swords to Plowshare. Nope, that is not my Swords to Plowshare. Let's see. One white. Um, no, geez. Where is this guy? I'm not finding it. This would be one you'd beat me on. Oh, wait. Nope. De uh, Defiant Strike. Yes. I don't know if you're still playing it that way, but I got it. <laughs> and then a flip, the flame scroll celebrant. Um, your opponents can't cast spells or activate loyalty abilities this turn. Exile it. That's pretty decent on that side. Uh, da, 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 one damage to that player. Okay. Yeah, that'd be sweet to get the Japanese demonic tutor. Oh, that'd be awesome. Is that the top? Is that the top of everything right here? What do we got for price? Well, yeah, demonic is and tainted pact is right there with it. I do need a channel, even though I know it's not legal in Commander. I just don't have one. So I was kind of hoping that I'd pull one in some of these packs here. I'm assuming I will. It's not that expensive. And if I don't, I'll just, I guess, buy that one. Oh, good for me. All right. I'm not a fan of that one. Oh, look at that. Full art monologue tax. I guess this is a card I really, oh, wait, that's Commander. Holy balls. Okay. So yeah, I forgot about that. Commander cards can appear in the in the collector boosters. So a full art monologue tax, the rarity rarity of getting these is going to be so low because they're not in the regular set. They're just in the collector booster. So that's that's a good pull. I don't even know where that's sitting at right now. Uh and then a full art. Uh your instant sorceries have lifelink. Uh, right. All right. Now we get to the fun stuff. I like that. I'm getting a lot of different ones. I like it or dislike it. Cause I have to keep looking and trying to figure out which one it is. It's not grape shot. Thrill of possibility for this one. Day of judgment. That looks pretty sweet. That one goes over here. It's a non foil. Let's do it in the right order though. Cause it would be that. And these are the foil pack or the, foil line and the non-foil there um <laughs> oh, i found it right away village rights village rights is this one this one's a foil and then the faithless looting the weird it looks like it's photoshopped kind of art which in person it looks decent but man that for it still looks kind of weird not gonna lie uh but it looks cool and then we get that fractal out of there Man, these collector boosters. These are the way to go. I know they're expensive, but the value you get out of these is pretty crazy. I'm really happy that we do the set boosters, though, for the uh, for the league. All right, so we got a foil, one of the lands. Full art, ruin grinder. Oh, the full art of that. And is that one that we just got? Yes. So it's that same one. The village rights is that what i said it was i believe yep village rights non-foil inquisition non-japanese non-foil adventurous impulse foil uh that is a dark ritual and that is a foil i like it the only reason i know it's a dark ritual is because you got the three there it's got to be dark ritual to have that in there because <laughs> it's adding to it i like that dig it dig it dig it you know i should really have the foil pricing up I have the non-foil, but this is, this is you're getting a good chance of getting foils in here. Is this the foils up? Japanese, Japanese foil. I just want to kind of see where that lands. Because yeah, if you get demonic tutor, that puts you at two hundred and ten bucks. Is what those are going for. Dark ritual. So that dark ritual is twenty. So that's not bad, considering the pack is what twenty five. I think. 
I got mine for the whole box for two something, I think. Oh, good for me. Uh, uncommon. And a lesson mix. Ooh, all right. Wandering Archaic in foil. Looks pretty. Got two of them now. Ink Shield's in there. Dig it, dig it. It's a full art. That's one of our top. I think I was like number three or number, I was number two for the list. Full art there. Defiant Strike for non foil English one. Uh, one green and one colorless. What would you be? What would you be? Regrowth? No, not regrowth. Is it? No, it's not regrowth. What in the hell? Why am I not seeing it? This one I would need help with because I only see one. Yep, only one card that is one green, one colorless. Oh, there it is. Weather the storm. Okay. I guess that would make sense. Okay. That's non foil. And then that one is the, uh, what is it? It's, um, it's not dark. It's, uh, it's not inquisition. Isn't it? Um, ugh. isn't that the big guy? Not the big guy. It's not duress. Is it? I just keep skipping it. It is duress. I didn't think it was. Yeah, yeah, it is duress. That's not bad. That duress is, well, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. The uh, foils of that, that, you could pick this up for 350 at least, or for right now. So that's pretty decent for a foil Japanese art. That's not bad. All right, so this is the multiple choice one. Interesting. Thank you. That was a good one. But um, shh, wait, wait, where's my joke drums? Uh, yeah, this one's better. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> that one's for you, Rick. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. All right, so we got four packs left. All right. And here we go. Common, common. Whoa, Dragon's Approach. That could be worth something because of the multiple. That's the first one I've. Well, I've kind of skimmed through the other packs, so I might not have I might have gotten those in the league stuff. All right, so uncommons there, rare, full art, uh, command in the full art, and then we get is this counterspell? The way this looks, is that the Japanese counterspell? Come on, it's not memory lapse. It's not strategic planning. Oh, counter. Why would I say counterspell? The counterspell is too blue. So what is this one? Oh, um, not counterspell. It was, um, what's the other counter? Why am I not finding this? Rick, I need your help. I need your help. Negate. Thank you. You beat, you beat me. See, that's what I was trying to think of, but I couldn't figure I, Yep, the gate. You beat it. That was good. Stone rain, regular stone rain, shock. <laughs> uh, and then rushed rebirth. Okay, full art, foil. That gives me time to try to find it before you. It's more of a game between you and I on this one. Although we've been, it would be nice if I was able to get it right away from your answer right away. But that's all right. Okay. Uncommon, uncommon. There's a lesson and another command. Full art Zaffy. Ooh. Full art Rowan. I did not have Rowan yet. Rowan and Will. Very nice. Dig it, dig it, dig it. All right. So, Thrill of Possibility into Swords of Plowshare. Wait, was that right? Did I already get this one? That swords. <laughs> yep, swords of plowshare. I was just guessing because of how everything looks in this picture and this art. So it's a non-foil into a foil negate. That other one was a non-foil. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Guess what? <laughs> 
We're looking at a foil, full art, Japanese. There's 210 bucks right there. That card just paid for my whole box. Oh, man, that is freaking sweet. <laughs> oh, that was worth it. Totally worth it. Everything else is free. I'm not selling that card because that is freaking awesome. Yeah, <laughs> good point. <laughs> Do my sons. Oh, good for you. Uh, I think it, you need Christian Bale in that one. Oh, good <laughs> for you. An all good for you moment there. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Man, that card looks fantastic. Let's see if I can get that shine on there. There we go. Woo. Woo. I was going to be happy if I just got a regular one, but to come up as foil, full art foil. Whew. Yeah, I got to do it again. Oh, good for you. Very nice. Very nice. Dig it. God, these collector boosters are fun. These are fun to open. Seriously. All right. So the one of Archeomancer's map was that. That one's the commander one too, isn't it? Is it white? I'm trying to remember if that, or that was the, uh, Oh, maybe it wasn't. Maybe that was that was in our top ten. We did double top ten, then I can't remember which one's which. All right, I got this. I had the same one I have, the full art. And let's see. That's not lightning bolt. Let's see if I can guess it. Um it's not shock. What is that one? It's not faithless. Oh, it's claim the Fist, firstborn, fistborn. <laughs> Claim the fistborn. Claim the firstborn. <laughs> All right. So that's a Japanese one. God's willing. Move that there. Uh, the snakeskin veil. This one's a full art foil. And then full art foil of Inquisition of Kozilek. All right. That's good. All right. Last pack. And I'll probably call it quits unless you guys wanted me to open up the other one. I would just probably just open that one up for shits and giggles. But this was really the entertaining stuff. So I think I just probably will cut the video out at that point. And I might need to get something to... Well, actually, I have my drink right here. My wife won't be home for another... Normally get home at 10 after 4. So I do have a little time. Oh, the stupid book. Stupid book. All right, full art, inspiring refrain, academic probation. All right, strategic planning. Into that wasn't one I got before, right? Just making sure the one blue, one colorless. There isn't getting. I'm not getting a lot of repeats. I mean, I am getting some, but this is a lot of different stuff that's popping up here. So this one's memory lapse. All right, not bad, not bad into what's our double white with a dragon man that dragon looks sweet as a full art foil too white too white what am i looking for here i can't think of what too white is in this oh divine gambit okay that looks cool uh, let's see bring it up to the camera focus focus where's the focus there i mean i just have a thing for dragons look at the shine in the eyes that looks awesome all right, and then another full art of that elite guy that I got already, the Dragon Dragon's Guard Elite. All right, that's not bad. I mean, of course, I'm going to say that because the top one right there is that guy. Whoo! Let's look at that one again. Let's see if we can get the shine on that. Oh, that looks so sweet. Very happy with that pull. All right, um. Should I do the other set booster? Do that quick. I could probably just burn through it and see what uh, all the good stuff we get in it. We do have the fat pack too, but we're already, yeah, let's do it. I'm going to get it done really quick. You guys can stay on if you want. I'm just going to burn through it. Might as well, since I already have it all recording. Makes it easy. Uh, move these off. And best place for this is putting it directly into a sleeve here soon and putting it into the binder. I just got to move that there. Okay. Let's do the next box really quick.
Now I don't need uh, translations because I'll see what everything is. But I got stuff that I wanted. Everything's good. Should be able to burn through this pretty quick because I already got all the stuff I really want there. So let's go. Really just going to skip forward to the main stuff. All right. So we got a, oh, the card was flipped upside down. Does that count as a misprint? Probably should be. I'll even skip through the uncommons. Nice. <laughs> is, is that what Demonic Tutor is? I should, now I want to see it. Oh, yeah, that is. That's kind of fun. Wait, is it? No, it's a little different. A little different there. What did you write there, Rick? Blue Sun Zenith. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, claim the first or fistborn and my rare. Boom. That there. Go into the next. How do you even change your, your typing to the Japanese? Oh, look at, they're all flipped upside down. This is a, this is a misprint box. I should be selling this box for a ton of money. There's some weird stuff. If you go on those Facebook pages, of people selling like the weirdest misprint stuff. Like not, I wouldn't even consider it misprints. There's our negate. Oh, walking archive. I like that card a lot. Oh, copy paste. Uh, duh. <laughs> I don't know technology. Yeah. How did you do that? Yep, all of them are upside down. Unlike the other one. All right. The funny thing is these are the proxies. All these basic lands. I like getting them because... I need them for how many damn proxies I make for everybody. Uh, all right. So we're getting through those. There's a rare. Eliminate. Foil rare. Take it. And a token. I don't know. What is the Chris Farley? I don't know Japanese. Kimchi. No, what is it? Kirky. Quacky Serpy Niku. Quacky CP. Quack. Quacky Serpy Niku. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't speak Japanese. Oh, Mythic, Blot Out the Sky. Dig it. First Mythic. Opt. All these are non foil so far. Oh, there's our foil Infuriate. And another token there. Not bad, not bad. I can't be hating on anything I get in these. I'm just, I got the top of the top, so I'm fine with whatever I get in these. I mean, it'd be nice to keep getting them. I'm not going to lie. Then I can, I'm not going to get the Japanese one, obviously, because it won't be in here, but thrill of possibility. I even liked the, uh, so it's a foil as well, the, um, the way the demonic tutor looked in just the regular mystical archive. So I wouldn't mind, I guess, being greedy and getting that as well. Upside down. Uncommons. Uh, rare. Is that a freed again? Oh, another crux of fate. I have three of them now. Anybody want to trade? Because that's the third one. And a foil Quintorius. Not bad. Quintorius. Uh, I'm going to keep them by the rares. <laughs> right for helping me with the translation rick yeah maybe that might <laughs> that's your that's your payment that's the uh for being the handler of trying to translate it all uh let's see here all right got the command i think that might be all the commands that i, I think I, that clears the commands with that uh whirlwind denial foil garbage and token I don't know. I could probably think of something fun to give you for helping out there since you've been here the whole time here. This is a hour and change already. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I wish they would have, I know they didn't want it to do what is it? The library Alexandria or whatever. Um, but I wish they would have made this a little bit more playable. Like I know they're trying to make those cards, but this, they made it so unplayable. 
Uh, if you don't, you know, put it in your graveyard, activate this ability of zero or seven cards in your hand. Ugh, okay. Counterspell, non foil, and foil eye witch. No, Rick, but you do have a good idea that uh, when we start doing these live ones, may just do some drawings while we're on here too. We may end up doing that at some point. Right now, Larry and I are just going to try to get the test runs in of how to run it all. I just get practice of talking and talking live instead of recording. Recording's easy. I can't tell you. I had like nerves before it started to do this. I was like, oh shit, going live. And then once it's live, it's just like doing when we record stuff. So it isn't a big deal. But it was first time going live. When I used to do um in college, when I did my TV meteorology stuff, I my nerves, whoo. I, I almost didn't want to do meteorology, do the TV stuff because the nerves that would ensue before getting on the air. And then once I got on the air, once I was live, it was just easy. But that lead up was just you get those nerves building up. And that's kind of what was happening today. I was like, oh, shit. OK, we're going live. All right, here we go. <laughs> um, all right. So that's my rare strategic planning. Tainted packed foil. That is one card I did not have. So I am very happy I got that. And I'll take it in the foil with that. That's pretty sweet. Woo! Today's a good day. Today's a very good day. Man, that looks sweet. I did not have Tainted Pact. That looks pretty sweet. These are fun. I'm having fun. You'll take... You'll <laughs> I'll take it in the foil. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Get through those. There's our rare. Uh, we saw that one already. Natural order. That is my second one. I got one of those in the. Oh, good for you. In the uh, pre, uh, pre release pack. Okay. That one's not foil. Put it there. Uh, and then foil that little guy. Sweet. Man, these really add. I'm noticing. Let's see. The focus. Can it focus down here? Focus camera. Focus. Uh, so I've got to make sure that I, I think it's focusing where my hands are. All right. At least then you can see these cards pretty easily. All right. So there's a rare. Saw this guy already. I'd flip. Oh, another rare. And choose a dark creature to dies this turn. Oh, that's the search for something lesser. Yep. With lesser mono value put on the battlefield. That's kind of nice. Uh, shock. Foil rise. No, not good. And some inkling stuff. All right. I like this box better than my, my league one. Shit. And I recorded it, so now you guys, I can't switch it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, although I do like the Simic in the other box. So actually, there was a lot of good Simic stuff in there. Day of Judgment. All right. Day of Judgment there. Foil and an inkling. Whoops. It's going to draw my pack from there. Yeah, I'm for sure going to be Simic, which I'm happy. I haven't made a Simic deck for a while. It is my favorite color combo, but that there was a lot of good stuff with the Simic stuff there. And I was already planning. There's a Legendary. That, that one combo's pretty good. I was planning on oh, Mythic there. I'm going to keep her down here. Not using, I was going to use whatever I got, not use the Commander product stuff. So I was already kind of, oh, that fucking book. God damn book. Uh, Bookie McBookface and Harmonize. Uh, throw that there. I guess I was trying to keep the mythics together. That's why I was having that down there. Let's do it again. Going to draw from the common and uncommon pile. It's so weird how this whole box... Now they came from two different places. These came, one came from one buy or seller on eBay. 
That's good. Uh, and then the other one came from another because they had different deals. So maybe that's just the shipment of what they got. Their boxes had that. All right. So the rare into Stone Rain. We have that one already. And ooh. Hey, I didn't realize that was a list card. Because it was in the uh no, oh yeah, it's double masters. And it's also a list card. Sweet. All right, that's my second list. Wow. How many list cards did I have in that first one? Like five? And there's only two, so two. Two. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Is it obulate? Obulet? <laughs> Obliet. That's that's what I'm going with, right? Did I get it? I've got a rare lesson on the front. Yeah, my reading skills aren't. Ooh. Not here. You're not here. Uh, the full art. I, I liked all the full arts of all these. So that's my second Elder Dragon. Oh, good for you. And my fourth Mythic of the Box. Uh, one of the better commands, and then Divine Gambit. All right. Ley line invocation. Okay, so that is my there and there. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Sparring reg regimen. Regimen? Oh. Regimen. Sparring regimen. Okay, so this is when it enters the battlefield. Learn. Eek. Whenever you attack, put a one counter on target and attack as you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for watching, bud. Appreciate it. Uh infuriate. This will be up on YouTube as well. I'm gonna edit the video just to I probably won't even edit, I'll just add a thumbnail. So you guys can I don't know why you'd watch it again unless you wanted to watch your comments and stuff. <laughs> like, see, look how funny I was. Look how I helped him out. <laughs> All right. And another rare lesson. And we got a removal. This one. Lowry was more on board with this one than me. It just, it needs to be a monocolor permanent. So I just I hate, we have so much removal and it just feels tough because you can't hit artifacts with that. It has to be multicolor or, or monocolor because artifacts are non-color. So that's why it doesn't work. So it doesn't hit the multicolor. It just it just seems too handcuffed. So that's why I, we, it didn't make our list at all. All right, duress. That's the first time I've seen it in the the uh, regular non-Japanese art. And then the foil due to that. All right, getting towards the end of this box. All right, let's see here. Everything flip over. Here we go. Here's a lesson, and that guy again. Tendrils of agony. Not bad. Foil. Nothing really, and that. All right. Uh, I'm still pumped about that. I just want to be done to look at the demonic. <laughs> uh, this is probably a quarter left of this box. I have opened, Mark, if you just jumped on, I did open um, the league box already. Got a lot of Simic stuff there. Um, and then I opened a collector booster box and towards the end, I did pull a foil full art Japanese demonic tutor. So that was pretty freaking. it's a total. Oh, good for you. And then we got a list card right there. So now I'm on to the second non league. Hey, how's it going? What time is it there? Isn't that always the question when you hear somebody talking to you from the U S what time is it there? Yeah, so the I'm still on the high of that the end of that box because that one card is about 210 10 p.m. Oh geez. I guess it's not too bad. You're six hours behind us. All right. Bad rare there. Putrefy. Thanks for joining though. Um 
Yeah, so I opened two boxes. Oh, this is the second one of this. The collector boosters. Whew. They just have so much value. And the, the Japanese stuff just looks so good. Oh, there we go. A little shiny. You know what I didn't check here? Okay. So here's something interesting. Let me show really quick. So we have the full arts non foils from the set boosters. Okay. Now I'm just showing off the there. So if you haven't seen it yet, there's the foil demonic. But if you look at the full art non foils from the collector boosters, they're all etched. There isn't a single one that's like this where it doesn't have the etch. And I know it's a little hard to see on camera, but that's non etched. And that, oh, come on, light. You can see it where the gold right here on those little, that, 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 and that, those are all foil etched. Or not foil, it's just etched. And that is foiling, just those par parts there. So it's only in the collector boosters. I didn't realize that they were different with that. So collector boosters, even for their full art, regular non-Japanese ones, non-foils, are foil etched. So that's, so none of these. Yep. None of those are foil. Interesting. Very interesting. That even gives a lot more value to those. All right. So this is the third time I've gotten this guy. This is the first time I haven't gotten him in full art. Yep. First time I haven't gotten him in full art. All right. Semester's end. I dig this card a lot. Dark ritual. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, this is, I'm glad to get this in foil. And another list card. This was the one that I was saying earlier in the recording that I wanted as a, to pick up foils of those. Because I think that those will get used, especially in decks that don't have a lot of ramp. So the foil ones, I think, are a potential spec target. And there he is again, but non-foil. All right, get through this. So I see a planeswalker, one that I need because I didn't get him yet. Uh, this guy's garbage, but Kazmina is not. God's willing. Yeah, I like that Kazmina. One looks pretty sweet. I do prefer the full art, but that's just me being picky. Uh, and devouring tendrils again. I think I got that one in foil already, too. Down to the last few. Yeah, and this whole box had all my, you're just jumping on, all my arts flipped the wrong way, whereas the first box didn't. It had it regular, like facing up when you open the pack. All right, so we can exile creatures you control, gain indestructible, and then to turn, and then the flip side is the choose a creature or planeswalker, then destroy all the others. That's a pretty decent removal for black-white. And then the Elemental Expressionist. Okay, so or you cast or copy an insert sorcery spell. It gains if this creature would leave the battlefield exile instead, putting it blah blah blah. Create a 4-4 blue elemental creature token. Meh. Agonizing remorse. And foil. And another list card. Jeez. I mean, it isn't like crazy. The these two, well. More so, the Walking Archive is really the only one that's going to be really worth anything. And I don't think, no, actually, Walking Archive, I don't think is worth anything anymore. So, garbage for that. So, value-wise, the first box is quite a bit better, I think, at this point. All right. Get rid of that. Cultivate. And foil there. You know, give me just one second. I had my heater in my room on and I'm sitting here like sweating. I'm like, why am I sweating so much? Because I have my door shut and my heater on. <laughs> and so I'm sweating my balls off right now. I actually got to take my hat off. Whew. Could not figure out why it was getting so hot in here. I was like, I've been doing this for a while. I shouldn't be getting warmer. Oh. There's another little foil guy. 
Oh, I'm going to have to shower after this. <laughs> All right. So this made it onto our one of this first time getting this here too. Made it on the top 10 list only because of that side of the card. That is pretty cool being able to make duplicates and get rid of the legendary part of that as well. And then the intervention here, exile and insert a sorcerer card from your graveyard, deals X damage to each non-dragon creature. Amount of value if this creature damages way, exile it. And okay, so it's a good way to, especially in a dragon deck, remove a bunch or destroy a bunch of stuff. So good mass removal. Even if you're not in a dragon deck, that could help destroy a lot of stuff. So that's that's interesting. Uh, growth spiral, sweet. It's a good card. I like that. And foil that guy. All right, we're in the last three, four packs. Let's get this out of the way. Get these last four. Uh, good stuff. I just saw your comment, Mark. My bad. Um, good stuff that I don't or maybe that I even have will probably just go into the binder. If I have duplicates, I don't know what the, the archive stuff. I really like the archives. So um, I think those are going to be going down in price. They might be something that I'll hold on to and sell later, but I'm definitely going to try to get the, all the archives. Now that I got demonic tutor out of the way, I may, I'm probably going to try to shoot for the Japanese ones as well. All right. Monetize. All right, oil and another list card. Stony Brook. I got that one in the the first box. Yeah, uh, the I, I want to get. I, I'm almost even tempted to have the archives be in a separate binder because they just have it next to like the regular, and then the Japanese right next to each other. Um, right now I have binders sorted by color. Uh, creature you know legendary creature like i have colors all together with where i have it sorted by like instant sorcery enchantments creatures and then legendary creatures and then i have different binders for multicolored legendaries planeswalkers so this might catch its own set um binder defiant strike nothing special there oh all right that's a good list card that's like three list cards in a row i believe and that one's the big one right there Typically, I've been seeing a lot of people, especially with what I got, you get one list card that's decent that actually gives you a chunk of change. Other than that, like they're all pretty, the other ones are garbage, but it does seem like one, one out of a box is actually decent is what I've been seeing. There's no, I haven't heard anybody say the statistics on that, but that's just what I've kind of noticed. All right. So this is when it enters, create a zero, zero. Put X11 one, one counters on it, number cards in your hand. Meh. Regrowth. Cool. One of these guys in foil. Not bad. Nothing special, but it's still cool. Last pack for this box. Hour and 23 into this for two boxes and a collector booster. That's not bad. I could even do. I don't hear, I think the wife and kids got to be home by now. I say I could even do uh, my fat pack. All right, so I got a land there. I don't think I got all the lands off of this one. So village right. So none of these really hit too good with those. Oh, and another list card and foil there. It didn't hit. What did we get there in this box? Did I get some crazy ones? Not. Any really expensive, I guess. Day of Judgment would be decent. Oh, Natural Order, that's right, was in there. Counter Spells in there, but I got to foil one of those. Oh, good for me. Oh, good for you. All right, that's not too bad. Let's see here. All right, so wife isn't even home. She just texted me to say that they're at Coburn's getting medicine and all that stuff. So what that means, oh, I guess I got these. I was more so fan crux of fate. So that's not bad. Mythic, one, two, three. Four, five. That's not a mythic. It's my rare. Five regular mythics. We got a crux of fate mythic and a natural order mythic out of the archives, right? I believe that's only two there. 
There's a bunch of rares. Yeah, so two mythics out of oh three. Day of Judgment. Forgot about that guy. Counter spell is pretty sweet though, too. Uh so three mythics out of the mystical archives. One, two, three, and then five out of that. And we got two rare foils, and we got Vesuvia is pretty good. Really good. And that's probably the best one out of this for sure. Probably the only money in that. So that's not a bad box, considering I was just thinking it wasn't a good box. Oh, how did I miss these? I also got Tainted Pact over here. So I got four. Yep. Oh, good for Deserves you. Like four mythics out of that. That's not bad. And then these are also foil. Okay, let's do this really quick. I'm trying to do this before my wife gets home. So I'm not even going to like package it way up. I'm going to move those there, those there, and those over there. We're going to open the fat pack. I know it's not called fat packs anymore, but I still call them fat packs. They're called bundles. But I typically, for sets I like, standard sets, I do like to get these because I like getting the different boxes. And they're also a way that I store all my um specs in so i like label alphabet alphabetize the specs in and this is a pretty sweet looking fat pack or bundle however you want to say it let's check out the dice nice very nice all right let's get to the main stuff here what does it come free with i know the this is one of our top cards that was on the list as well. So this is kind of a hard one to spec on because this guy is in all of the fat packs. So if you want one of those, he is automatically in here. So that was on our top 10 list and it's a different art as well. So that's the, uh, whenever you cast an instant or a sorcery, draw a card so that's pretty solid there these are the foil lands i love me some foil lands not as much as i like full art foil lands but still like them nonetheless these right here are all the proxy cards these are what you guys get for proxies and anytime i make proxies these are now my pile of proxies all right let's get to the actual cards here so this is not going to be set booster this is just going to be regular Let's see how these turn out. I have yet to open any of the uh, regular boosters. All right. Yeah, there is a lot of foil lands in this for sure. All right, so confront the past. It's a lesson. Now we get to our uncommons. God, that guy again? How many times am I going to get that guy? <laughs> uh, it's that guy. I don't dig him. And then Whirlwind Denial. Get my token there. This one uh, might be the value down with this. I ugh, These I don't tend to hit very often very well. Every once in a while, but I just don't like regular booster uh, packs anymore. There's a putting him because it's legendary. And Prismari Command. Prismari is probably the best one. Village rights again. Come on, let's get a demonic tutor in a in a fat pack. That'd be pretty sweet. Okay, uncommons and that guy. Yeah, set boosters are for sure. There, I love that they added those in. They're pretty sweet. All right. Tezzeret's Gambit. I have yet to see this one in this, so that's one I didn't get yet. can dig that. And now this will be used for double face cards like the uh, proxy that I made today. That, so I can flip the other side and put the proxy together there. So that's my, that's my proxy box right there. But, so I use pretty much every part of the None of it's garbage to me because I end up using all of it and I keep all the tokens. The tokens I could probably get rid of, but then I, get, you know, some people like Jeremy will sometimes be like, hey, do you have these tokens? And most often I do have a crap ton of them. All right. So this is like the fourth 
fifth one of this I got. Defiant Strike and foil of that. Meh. So far, not so good on this fat pack. I really cannot complain, though, because of that demonic. But it would be cool to have one of each so I don't have to try to get the top one. Oops, let's put him over here. The top most expensive one from each. All right. Harness Infinity. Exchange your hand and grave your... Oh, yeah, that one's interesting. Uh, I don't think I'll use it, but it's interesting. Could build some pretty fun stuff with that. Uh, strategic planning, it's so all a lot of that. And then we got a blank card there. What do we got left? Five packs, and then that's it. And you guys can watch Lowry later. I think he he also got his draft booster today, too. And I think he's gonna try to do this tonight. So I have two for one. Thank you guys for all at least people jumping in more than I thought for sure. <laughs> yeah, I know. Which one? Wait, the Seb. Oh, it is. You're correct. Good call, Jason. That is Seb art. That does look pretty sweet. Now, that would be really cool full art there. All right. And that guy again, as you saw earlier, got that one. Not a big fan of that. Oh, so I got the, the Chaos Warp. Oh, good for you. And the Japanese. I like the way that one looks, too. This one looks really cool in the non-Japanese. I almost might like this one better than the Japanese. <gasps> it's blasphemy, but it does mainly because of the, uh, let's see if I can get it there, the dragon in there, because I'm a fan of the dragons. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh, that'd be fun to play, Gwen. Hey, Gwen, how's it going? Oh, right. I am busting my load on this whole thing because I opened all my cards all at once. I wasn't planning on doing it all at once, but hey, that's fine. All right. So this is the ward one. What is it? Uh, enters the battlefield, exile an instant or sorcerer card from your graveyard, put a number of 1 1 counters on it. That's equal to half the amount of value. Meh. And the backside, discard a card, then draw a card. When you discard an instant or sorcery card, Deals damage to target creature or planeswalker you don't control. Okay, whatever with that one. And Compulsive Research did not see this one yet either. So out of all those packs that I opened, it's the first time seeing that and then a foil garbage land. Three packs left. Yes, I have to pull the packs off camera because half the time I have to use my teeth to open them because I suck at opening the packs. <laughs> uh, all right, so this teaching gal. Ooh, solve the equation. And uh, we got the other command. Adventurous impulse. Meh. And that token. Last two. All right. Let's pull something big in these last two packs. That'd be pretty sweet. Nope. We're getting the other land. I believe that gets me all the land with that one. Am I missing one? I might be missing one of them. Claim the Fistborn. No, Firstborn is earlier joke. Kid can't even read. Last pack, guys. And that'll be it for me tonight. But I think... I'll do fine with my um, Simic League deck. I'm excited to do that. All right, so one of our top 10s, the Sedgemore Witch. Good, good, good. Monetize, all right. And Foil Elemental Masterpiece. All right, so the Fat Pack box did not do very well. Did we even get a Mythic? Oh, we got one. Chaos Warp. Mythic out of that. That's 10 packs, and any lands are okay. Um, got one mythic there. Yeah, did not hit there. But if you guys didn't see it before, here it is again. This was pulled from the collectors. <laughs> these were the collector booster pulls. So these were pretty fantastic. I really love the way that one looks. 
And these are in no particular order except for the first ones are in foil, foil full arts. And then these, all the collector boosters are uh, the mystical archives, all have a foil etching. So around this text box, it's a foil etching. And that includes the Japanese and English versions. So then you get to the English where they have the full arts. And then these, only in the collector stuff is foil etching around that. So that turned out. These look so good, guys. It's so it looks so good that I almost want to get another collector booster. But should I sell that and buy some more? No, I I got to keep this. But man, that turned out good. All right. Well, thank you guys for being on here. Thank you for watching. Uh, I will be posting this. And like I said, if you're watching now, I believe Lowry's going to try to jump on later tonight to do his his box opening as well. So check that out as well. But uh, that should do it for our this and i'll see some of you guys this weekend playing uh some commander battle box league so all right guys you guys have a good night how how did everything sound by the way i just curious um i guess you're really going to be typing to me so it might take a little longer i did notice that there is a delay because rick was helping me with a lot of the japanese figuring out which cards they were and it took a while for any of that uh to come through so but if you guys had questions or anything, now would be the time. Otherwise, I'm probably going to sign off here. Kids are going to be here pretty soon. So sweet. Yeah. Even though my phone did <laughs> earlier, my phone did ring in the middle of this and it was number two calling because uh, I'm helping him with his house stuff. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. I was like the screen went black, but everybody could hear my phone ringing. So if you're on still from that, but it was pretty funny because I had my Game of Thrones music going. So. All right, well, that should do it, guys. I will see you guys later. You guys have a good night and a good weekend. We'll see ya. Take up.